let that warm up. the project at hand right now um what i want to do i want to on this kubota excavator here this has like a quick coupler system where it's very easy to take the bucket off and change it with another type of bucket or a hammer or something i want to put that same system on this yanmar excavator so the way the yanmar is right now it's just kind of a pin on system where this is just the pin going through and that's really hard to change i mean that system's not really meant to be changed like that you just kind of put the bucket on there and leave it on there um plus on this hammer you can see how that's completely broken anyway and um the reason this would be very beneficial to this machine is because with that hammer on a hammering job pretty much what you do is you go break up a bunch of rock and then you switch to the digging bucket to dig the rock out and the idea is you'd be switching from the hammer to the bucket all day to get a hammering job done with just the one piece of equipment. Plus, I'll be able to switch with other types of buckets too. Another good bucket to have would be a grading bucket, you know, that's wider with no teeth or a ripper tooth for maybe ripping out roots or frozen ground. So I'll give you a demonstration of how this Kubota system works. And then let's uh, get started doing it to the, uh, these two pieces. So the way this happens, um, those ears have to be cut off. So once the ears are removed, then I'll be able to weld these into place. And that's what accepts. That's the same thing that we have going on there. All right, so I'll show you how easy it is to change the bucket on this thing. All you do is you pull this, pull this. Then I get in the machine. All right, so you see how easy this locks in here. So that goes like that, like that, and then that pin goes in. All right, let's get to work. This pin is welded in here. Alright, so this is what we got to do. I got two different sets of these. I ordered them from different people. Um, so we'll see which one works better where. But this has got to be cut off. And this has got to go on there. All right, we got some important measurements to make here. So this thing should end up almost there. So actually this whole thing's got to be cut off right here. And then the width is important too. So on this Kubota bucket that I know is good, these ears are eight and three quarters apart. So eight and three quarters on the inside. Okay, so this is eight and a quarter, so that's 
it's close enough, but we just gotta make sure all this stuff is gonna fit before welding it together thoroughly. Man, this thing's like using a lightsaber. All right, that went nice, that was easy. Um, so what I gotta do now is just... Man, that looks pretty good like that. Well, I'll just, uh, let me cut this a little bit cleaner. Good. Probably end up right about there. Look at that, that's that exact same piece right there. All right, so this bucket's shaped a little weird for this bracket. Um, all right, I've been looking at this for a minute here now. Um, all right, so here's the factory Kubota bucket. Here's the things I bought. And, you know, that's an exact copy of what's on this bucket. Now, to just put, cut these tabs off of here and put these on here, it kind of presents some issues. Um, the main thing I don't like right now is see how, how different the angle is on this? See, this is like tilted all the way. It's like, it, it needs to be more like that. But it still needs to be like, tilted like this, but more forward, but down lower. So I could cut a notch into here for this piece of tubing. But I, I don't want to make a clearance issue between this piece and this notch I'm gonna make. Because I mean, there's some room, but there's not that much. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is if I cut this tube out of here and make it more like this bucket, then those ears will fit on there no problem. I mean, see, here's the front of the buckets. So in this, it's, you know, they've got like a piece of uh, two by four square tubing in here. And this has got this round tubing. All right, I, I think that's just gonna be easier at this point. I'm gonna cut this bucket up quite a bit and make it more like this one.
Alright, so that looks a lot nicer. Unfortunately, I gotta lose this hook too. Alright, let's get this welded up. Alright, I just added in this plate here. So let's uh, put, put these on it now. Let's try this on the machine before I weld it up all the way. Well, that's on there. Guess let me weld that up. I'll just weld it a little bit, you know, enough so it's not gonna break. And then I'll, before I weld it fully, I'll make sure it works on this machine as soon as I get the end for that. They're not gonna fit. Huh? They're not gonna fit. Do you have any other pins in the truck or will that be? Alright. So I'll get these. Well, is the width correct? Let's let's check the width. Because then you can come back with shims and you can you know, finish it the I'm sorry, Levi. <laughs> that's good. I mean a few shims, but that's fine. How about this? So side? What, what do you, what do you mean? I mean you might as well uh, measure it. A, maybe, a few shims. Maybe one or two millimeters, three. Yeah. All right, I usually just bring a handful of them and then jam as many in as we can get. Yeah. All right, I just finished burning that thing on there. So that went pretty well. You know, that, that MIG welder does a real nice job and made quick work of that. 
And there's a, there was like a pretty decent gap underneath that, so I, you know, I filled that in. There's a lot of weld in there, so I'm confident that will never break. This is how we started. We had 40 millimeters. Mm -hmm. I bored it down to 38, okay. which is the correct size for the Yanmar. Okay. So the ear on this side is perfect. This ear, they're making me a shim. It's like impossible to do, but they're making it and yeah. they're gonna send it up to you. Yeah. They're wow. gonna mail it. So you, it's gonna, it's less than two millimeters thick. It's like yeah. a. It's, here, let's see. Yep. snap rings I had to go to Jersey to get them no one really had a snap ring. You could have just drilled it and put a I know I wanted to do it. Oh I guess you couldn't do it with grease fittings on both sides yeah, Kubota bucket on there now, see how that one is, but it, it should, I mean, it's nice when they almost touch these, you know, and that's curled all the way. I mean, I guess that's almost acceptable, but it's, it's almost, I mean, it should curl more than that. First people to put a Kubota coupler on a Yanmar. Really? Yeah. So we got seven and a half. What are we at there? That's it. Ten. ten and a half. So what is? That's. Well, that's. Yeah. Look seven. at that. I just finished welding this up. So that welded pretty nice. Then we hit it with a little spray paint.
And I'm gonna throw a new hook on this bucket. So this is what it had, which, I mean, that's a little, I think this is more appropriate. Put that like right there. Look who I picked up today. Sadie! All right, let's give this quick change thing a try. Are you excited to see your friend? All right, this isn't exactly a quick change system if I have to take five minutes and break hammers to get it apart. But I see the problem. It looks like it's hitting down in there on this right side here. So let's see if we can fix that. See, I can see some shiny metal right here and here and there. Well, that's working pretty well now. I mean, it takes a hammer, but you just gotta barely tap it. You know, that's that's not a big deal. I think that once that once this once this gets run a few hours, this pin will be going in and out with no tools at all. But all right. All right, let's try this hammer now. All right, that goes in pretty easy.
All right, well, that project was a success. So that's nice to be able to easily change between the digging bucket and the hammer. And now I may also get a few more buckets for this machine. I have a grading bucket and a trenching bucket. That's a pin-on system for my B50. I may just, and I never use them because it's annoying to use. So I may modify those buckets as well to fit on this machine. All right, so I could hammer into this spot a little more but this really isn't a priority i was just kind of doing this to test that this is working properly all right that's good let's go work on something else sadie what do you have what do you have Let's get this stick, Levi. Come on. You got the stick. Sadie, who's got your stick? Levi's got it.